Welcome back to Ali Yachta Est. We are now at tutorial 11, and we're going to really sort of continue with a couple of things that happened in tutorial 10. And um, I think it's going to be a really, really interesting tutorial, and it kind of shows some of the new aspects of Aliyah Octa S uh, in relation to the previous AGOE games. Um, and there's some, yeah, I think there's some, some really good, some really good new features and some really good new, some really good new game mechanics. Um, and like I said, I think you know this this game Aliyah Octa S is just really taking some great games and improving on them. And then really we're dealing with a really interesting period here during the Roman Civil Wars and multiple scenarios. And I know even multiple uh, multiple expansions are going to come in the future. So I think we got a game here that's really going to be here for us to stay um, yeah, for many, for many years to come. All right, last time we took a look at the... Um, the Imperator tab, and um, we recruited some, or we really hired, I think it's probably better terminology, some mercenaries. Now, someone on the forum says, no, don't forget, you can also re recruit new units through the Eagle, and well, there it is. Um, it's basically just a lot above the mini-map, and I'm going to click on it, and that's going to do two things. One is that it changes the map overlay, and two, it brings up a section down here, list of units available to your nation. So I'm just going to unclick it, or click it again, and then it kind of goes back. Now, we didn't look at this last time, so I think what we know now is there are at least two, or really two ways to get new units. One is the higher mercenaries, another is the traditional way of basically recruiting units within your, within your own territories. Um, in a more traditional sense. Okay, so we are Caesar and say, great, we want, we've want we taken over the Italia Peninsula and now we want to recruit another legion there. Okay, so I click the eagle and I'm going to go down here and I look, I want to, I want to look for Legion Italia or Roman Legio. There it is. So currently, and it tells us some information, there are three on the map, there are seven more available, and an overall combat strength is 177, which means when it, they're in full capacity, it would be at 177. Then it tells us like how much money it costs, 250, morale, two, and how, how long it's going to take to build. Okay, so this is a bit quite different than just hiring mercenaries. Um, remember, mercenaries cost money in EP, where recruiting your own soldiers to take into your army uh, cost money, morale, and days. Okay, so you say, okay, well, I want to spend the money because we still have we still have money. How much do we have? We have morale, engagement points. We have a lot, 16, 1625. Um, you know, our morale is doing all right. It's at 109, and they're at like 100, sort of in normal or average. And... Uh, we want to go ahead and get started because it's going to take four months for them to, to get ready. So what I'm going to do is this. I click on it. Okay. So I'm just going to click on it. And then I'm going to drag it to a location in the Italia Peninsula where I'd like them to appear. And I want them to appear closer to his the uh, the Pompeian forces in Espanol. Yeah, um, out there in the west. So let's. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drag it and drop it off in Guinea. It looks like. Okay. I do that, and they're there. Now, once I do that, the amount of money I have and the national morale decreases up here. So it was at 109, and now you can see it's at 107. And um, yeah, there it goes. So it's, it's it I think it's decreased. Let's let's just the money should have also decreased. So you want to double check that. It's like, oh well did it did it really charge us money up there? Let's just take a look. Um I'm gonna unclick out of that. I'm gonna click on the unit we've created and you can tell it's a new unit because they have no they have no strength, basically a little bit of room and calories, 60 men, their power is three, and it says okay, they'll be operational in 111 days. Let me just now let's press the delete button. 
and it takes it away. 1625. Okay, now let's go back to the eagle and let's drop that off again. We're going to drag it and drop it off. Yep, they said that both of them. The National Royal Falls and uh, the amount of money we have falls. Okay, so that is how you recruit your own units in the traditional sense, i.e. not not hiring mercenaries. Um, okay, so remember, click on the eagle, find the unit you want. Oh, and one other tip here, you know it's a place you can drag it and drop it off in when it's green. Okay, so for example, if I click on the legions of, of Gallia, Gala, you can see here everywhere in the Italia Peninsula is not green because, um, well, actually here it is, but kind of down here, this whole this whole area all the way down to Sicilia, you can see there's no there's no options. Now, this is I think a significant advantage and promotes realism for the game, which is basically you can't just simply recruit all your units in one location to create sort of an unrealistic front. Um, you know, if you played AGD's American Civil War, you know, like you'll see some people that use all the recruitment points to go recruit everything in Missouri early on. Okay, well, that's not exactly realistic because your recruits and your potential recruits are really going to be spread out over your own territories. Um, and the different types of units you can recruit in different places, I suspect, are also are also going to be going to be different. Okay. Um, I really like it. It's a new feature and uh, to AGOD's, AGOD's game, and I think it's just absolutely brilliant. The second point we want to look at is at the end of the last turn, and this kind of became a discussion in the forum was, okay, why, I and mean, by the way, I need to click on the eagle to kind of give me back to my normal overlay. All right, but back to at the end of last turn, we had a legion moving here to Massilia, and I had them on assault or storm the fort, and they did not. Nothing, nothing happened. And there's a message in here that says, "Here it is. Fabius' corpse caught off the salt in Regia Massilia, had, well, because there was no breach in the enemy structure." Okay. Um, I went back and read this in, in the manual. And let me just say this: I'm going to put a link where you can download the manual below. It seems anyone can download the manual. You don't have to buy the game. To, to download the manual, it's on the forum, and I'll link to that below in the uh, about section of this video. The manual looks really great; it's 100 pages. And if you're one of those, if you're if you're also interested in a little bit more of the, uh, you could say like, the mathematics of of what's going on behind the scenes, a lot of that's in the manual, and it's it's an interesting read. I, um, so if you have the game and you want to learn more, in an, or in a different way than the tutorials, or in more detail than the tutorials. Um, or you just want to go on at once, you have the manual there. If you don't have the game, take a look at the manual and you're going to see that it's a, it's really, a, you know, it's a high quality production and I think it really represents the game well. Anyways, back to this tutorial. So our Legion here um, went in and he cut off the assault. And here's what's happened. Um, this message has popped up and I, you can see it. Mistelia is besieged but the structure is intact. Assaulting of level two plus fortifications is not allowed unless the leader has the assaulter ability. Now, this leader does not. If I click on Fabius, he has one ability, and it's School of the Offense. Um, uh, okay, so he's a, it basically says uh, he's a better attacker than defender. Okay. So what happens? He calls out the assault because he does not have the assaulter ability. And you might remember Caesar has the assault, assaulter ability, for example. And that ability allows you to assault a fort if there are no breaches. Okay, what is a breach? A breach is a hole in the wall or a gate being down or something like that. Now, they get here and they say, oh, well, there are units in there. We need to besiege them. So they automatically build some Roman artillery. And I'm going to bring it up. You can see it. This I didn't build this. This just appeared because they they said, okay, we need to besiege them. Very realistic. I'm pretty sure that's exactly, exactly what the Romans did. They didn't simply move around with large um, siege siege pieces. So we'll just click on them and durability, siege artillery, and 
kind of gives you, a, well, basically gives you a bonus when attacking in force. Okay, well, that, that makes sense. Now, we need to have at least two breaches in this fort for us to assault the fort. And the reason I know that is because da, 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 it is a size 2 fort. Okay, so since it's a size 2 fort, we're going to need two breaches. Now that we're in a siege situation there, I'm going to go back to Mark Antonius Force and I'm going to send them a supply wagon. So you should, we're going to use what we learned in the last tutorial. I'm going to take a unit and drop it on there. And now it's going to target Fabius' his core. Okay. In addition, I'm going to continue to get ready um, for our coming attack on the Pompeian army down here. And let's see, we have quite a lot of command points left. So let's kind of bring in some more of our local units. And I'm going to drop that one there. What's up here? Oh, oh yeah. Let's um, drop off some more. And I want to find those mercenaries. Uh, let's see. Where do those mercenaries appear? Well, one appeared here. There they are. And what I'm doing here is I want to make sure I'm um, dropping it off on the right force. Okay. And there was the German, the German mercenaries. Well, we spent money on them. We're going to, we need to use them. I mean, that kind of makes sense to me. Okay, so um, we took a look at uh, how to recruit a unit, and we are we're going to do that uh, here in Genoa, and we're going to send a supply wagon to Masella to get, and because I generally you want units to have supply, I thought it'd be a, we could just simply take it, but that's not the case because the, they did have a forge with units inside. And I want my soldiers to be able to eat well for however long it's going to take. Um, all right, and now let's uh, let's proceed to the next turn and watch um, our guys move around here. See what happens. Yeah, I'm getting more and more excited about the game the further we get into it. And just uh, yeah, it's been a few years since I've been into the the Roman. Roman uh, computer games, and it's really coming back to me. This is a really, really interesting period of history, and um, yeah, you know, I think you know, like I said, you start off with six different scenarios, and we're only, of course, looking at one. So it's going to be lots of lots of great uh, lots of great potential. If you're wondering when I'm doing Caesar, I just have him down in Sicily with a small force. Um, they were really tired once uh, uh, kind of going down there and taking that, so I'm sort of basically resting them. Uh, resting them down there. Okay, we have now uh, run the next turn, and the thing there's two things I want to show you here. One is we're going to go back and look at um, our siege situation in Massilia, and um, the message has changed. The number one, Massilia is besieged and partially damaged. The structure still provides a defensive benefit, and assaults are still impossible. It looks like there's one, and that's going to be because there we've made one breach. So. They're not messing around. <laughs> they went right for and that artillery is at work. I also want to take a look at um, our force here. And uh, now you can see that the number of days until our new uh, Italian legion will be operational is 93. Okay, which makes sense. So the number of days uh, until, until becoming operational have become fewer. All right, so lots happening, exciting stuff. Um, I think next time let's do, we're gonna we're gonna bring the Pompeians to to battle. We're really excited to see the new battle screen and uh, to see what it looks like. All right, uh, this has been tutorial ten of Aria Nocta Est, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.